guys, Gary Vernon here on the north side of Bentonville, Arkansas at the new hand cut hollow trail system. I've got the rock solid team behind me. They just got through building the toughest climbing trails in Oz. None other than nine time world champion Kenny Belay is here to find out if this trail is actually possible to ride. These guys don't think he can do it. I think, he, I think he's gonna have some trouble. Look Gary, I've been coming here for 10 years almost. You never challenged me once. So I, I really think this is gonna be really, really hard. Oh, and I see uh, how it is. Okay, well. So let, let's see what they built, right? Let's see what these guys have done. All right, Kenny, we can't wait to see it. Let's see what you can do. Let's go. Here we are on the top, kind of midway through zone one. And what this whole trail is, is broken up into four different zones. We challenged the trail builders to build us the toughest climbing trail in Oz, but break it up into four different segments. And that way after the first zone, if you're tired, you can leave the trail and get back on a normal trail. But here's the guys that actually built zone one. Joe, he's the foreman. We got Jeremy, we got Caden. Tell us what you did here. Absolutely. So we brought in about 100 tons of rock for this segment of trail alone. Um, Caden and Jeremy have a ton of experience building a really technical cross-country style trail. Caden, what did you try to do with this trail? We were really just trying to like mimic what we like riding, which is normally bedrock. And so like that's the type of feel we were going for when I was trying to assemble rock. And that's all the manufactured bedrock feel on this trail. zone two and zone two is more natural yeah. this is uh nelson tell me about what you've done covered here on this zone well the, we kind of lucked out because we built a lot of this zone by hand so when you're building by hand and you just get to scrape off and find bedrock that creates one of the coolest trails you ever rode i feel like we got lucky you know jeremy bringing in 100 tons of rock and we scrape off one of the coolest trails i've ever built i think we kind of lucked out with that fantastic good yeah. job guys zone three which is actually the shortest and was the easiest section in zone four trail system until Caden and Jeremy added this log feature that is tough. Jeremy, Caden, what, what did we do here? Well we pretty much harvested a bunch of white oak and stripped all the bark off it, textured it, and buried it and we call it the Lincoln Logs and I hope that it's one of the hardest things out here for everybody. It's gonna throw fits, people are gonna be mad. Zone three, it's tough guys.
All right, here we are on the fourth and final zone, and we're at the Double Roots. The Double Roots got Kenny. The Double Roots. And Nelson, tell us about zone four. Well, zone four, you know, it's probably my favorite zone just simply because it's as long as one, two, three put together. It kind of puts elements of what one has. We brought in 100 tons of rock. We brought in like 80 tons of rock for zone four too. And then we also found, I guess, another couple hundred tons of rock in zone four to make it, you know, natural as well. We brought in the double roots. Obviously I thought of Kenny when I built this spot right here and I knew he'd put his foot down and gosh darn it, we got him. <laughs> but uh, you know, just it, it's just uh, bringing everything together to kind of give you that whole experience in one zone uh, was kind of the goal for zone four. Did we challenge you? Man, more than that. It was really challenging, really hard, full of bruises, and I, I just love it. It's the best thing that I've ever done here. Awesome. Thank you, guys. All right, who's going to come and conquer Zone 4? Come see us. Uh,